welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make pom-pom hoof earrings with beads I have made some earrings with colorful pom-poms and the pom-poms are made of wool or yarn you can see so many colorful pom-pom earrings I have made you will love to make this you will have great fun while making this this is a hoop earrings with beads and pom poms you can see there are two colors pom poms multicolor pom poms with some 4 mm and 6 mm beads and pom pom at the center of the hoop So let's get started how to make pom pom earrings with beads. For this we require wool or yarn of two colors of your choice and beads matching with your wool color and two hoops. Hoops of any size you can take. And a fork I am using here to make pom pom. I will show you how to make pom pom here. Then thread and needle, a scissor, and a small pointed and scissor. And two pliers, one flat end and one nose plier. So these are the materials which were required to make pom pom hoop earrings with beads. So let's get started. First, let's see how to make a pom pom using two color wools. As you can see, I have made one pom pom here. The same size pom pom we are going to make here with the help of a four and these two are my favorite color royal blue and green these two combination I love very much so let's take a fork cut off a small wool strand and put in the middle as shown in the video then we have to take the blue and the green color wool together we have to take the strands together while wrapping around the fork to make the pom pom we have to wrap around the fork like you can see together you take two strands blue and green together I am taking and I am going to wrap around the fork for 30 times 30 rounds I have to make to get a pom pom of the given size, the sewn size. Like this, I have to wrap for 31, 2, 3, like this. I will wrap for 30 times around the fork. And as you can see, together I am wrapping, or one by one also you can wrap. You can wrap blue for 15 times, green for 15 times. Only the difference you can see the design of the pom poms that also that will also look good and you will love to see the pom poms in multicolors. Now cut off the strand after 30 wrapping rounds then take the small strand from the front to the back all over the strands we have to tie or not pull the strand tight tie and pull off all the strands from the pull off the strands and tie it tight and secure it with a knot 
and you can do it for two or three times to secure the pom pom. Now, after securing the pom pom with a knot or two or three knots, we have to cut the strands of wools, go from one end to other end, take the scissor and cut off the strands. So to cut up the strands we need a pointed end needle, sorry scissor. And I love the procedure to make pom pom and I hope you will also love to make this. You will have a great fun. After cutting of the strands we have to trim the strands off to look to get it look like a ball so cut properly do not leave any strands loop cut all the loops straight away now you can see it's not like in a ball shape so cut off the strands to trim the ball you will get a nice shape nice round shape roll it with the help of your palm to get a nice look trim it properly but one more thing I want to share with you the pom pom is not secure easily the strands can be pulled off and it can fall apart so to make it more secure we have to lock the threads or arms or wool strands to look to lock them we have to take one thread and needle and go through the center tie a knot again go in and out for a couple of times to lock the strands in the pom pom so that it can not be easily fall apart go in and out for a couple of times then again tie or knot with a small tail which I have left then tie the knot do it for a couple of times so this way we are locking the strands of the pom pom so that no strands can be pulled off easily or the pom pom cannot be easily fall apart this way we can secure pom pom and one more thing I want to share with you here to get a fluffier look we can brush the pom pom with the help of a old toothbrush just shown in the video take a old toothbrush and brush it up like this so it doing this we, we will get a fluffier look more fluffy you will get a nice look so this way we can have a nice ball size pom pom which we can use in our earrings then the next thing is to make the earrings with the help of hoops as is it as we are going to make a hoop earrings and hoops are easily available in the market as you can see the end of the hoop is slightly bent up so you cannot put the beads or you cannot 
add the weights onto the hoof. So what you have to do is to flat the bent to straight. Now this one is straight with the help of this flat pliers. I have made the bent shape to flat shape. Straight. Now we can put or we can add beads onto the hoop and here I have taken beads of 4 mm and 6 mm. Green is uh, green one is 6 mm and the blue one is 3 mm. So one green bead, three blue beads. It depends on you how to use the beads, the patterns you can choose in your own way applying your own creativity to make it more beautiful so now we have to put the pom pom at the center so after getting this much bits i will put the pom pom so just go through the center the tight area of the pom pom that is at the center of the pom pom that part is tight which we have locked Then again we have to put beads. So now two hoops are ready but as you can see the part is the flat or straight part that we have to bend up otherwise we cannot wear it or with the help of nose player you can bend the side slightly up. So we have our earrings hoop earrings with pom pom and beads you can make different colors pom pom earrings thank you friend for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe my channel if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box stay tuned for more handmade jewelry tutorials have a great day friends bye bye